Hello everyone, my name is Gabe and this is episode 7 to Let's Make Rust. So in, that, uh, in this episode we're actually going to be creating our first very simple shooting system. So you could see that working here. We're left clicking on the enemy, if I could even aim, and there we go, we killed it. So yeah, uh, we're going to be working on that today. And we're also going to be fixing the hunger and thirst bars to make them work correctly as apparently they were a little buggy uh, from last episode, so stay tuned and enjoy. All right, so to get started, uh, we're actually gonna open up the player script and add the add a boolean, private boolean called is dead or is dying is equal to false. And over here, I'm just gonna paste this. Uh, the reason I'm pasting this is uh, I actually already did this recording, but I forgot to unmute my microphone, so that's embarrassing. Anyways, um, what's happening here is we're doing if is dying is true, uh, then uh, our health is going to be subtracted by uh, time to delta time multiplied by our health speed multiplier, which is up here, health speed multiplier. And we can change that to whatever we want. Mine just by default is, is 0 0.25. Okay, so now when our hunger and thirst are at zero, our health will now go down as well. Okay, so now to make the shooting system, we're just going to uh, make a shooting system script and open that up. And we're going to make a private void update. And I, know, I put a zero. And in here, we're going to make a ray uh, and call it ray, which is going to equal. And before we do that, we're going to make a public camera called FPS camera. And I'm also going to make a public float called weapon range which is gonna equal to about 130, yeah, 100 um, units. So this uh, ray is gonna be FPS camera dot screen point to ray. And we're gonna do a new vector two. So, because we only need two uh, positions, we need the screens width, oops, we need the screen width divided by two and the screen dot height Oops, and the sc screen down height divided by two and finish that off. Okay, so basically what's happening here is we're making um, the point of that, um, of the ray in the center of the camera. So I'm also going to add a ray, a ray cast hit and call it hit info. And we're gonna make an if statement here and update. So if physics.raycast uh, ray out hit info and we're gonna do weapon range Cl open that uh, now we're also gonna do if input dot get key down key code dot mouse one uh, mouse zero sorry so this is uh, if we left click uh, check for ray collision Actually, uh, I'll do this one backwards, or I did this backwards. It should actually be like this. There, okay. So the, um, if physics.raycast should actually be inside the input.getKeyDown. I did it the other way around by accident, I'm sorry. Uh, so now inside of here, we could do, for example, if target dot oops if hit info dot collider dot tag is equal to enemy, then we will get um, our enemy uh, attack script. So I believe. Let me just open the enemy script. I haven't done this in a while. Advanced enemy AI. We should have a take damage. Okay. Advanced enemy AI. So I'm going to make up here private advanced enemy AI. I'm just going to call this enemy. And enemy is equal to hit info dot collider dot get component and advanced enemy AI. Close that off. And enemy dot take damage. And we'll make over here a private int 
or a private float damage. Which will return, uh, let's see, random dot range. And we're going to do a public float minimum uh, damage is going to be 15. And a maximum damage is going to be about 30. So random dot range minimum damage and maximum damage close that off and then here we'll just put damage okay so I've made a mistake um, it should actually be an integer so I'll change this to a private int and then we have to go up here and change these two integers there we go. And now we shouldn't get any errors. Unless. Oh, I put F. <laughs> Silly. Okay. There we go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. We were actually supposed to put. Um, that at the end I forgot to put the parameters okay so let's go back to our player and I will actually minimize all this because we don't need it right now um, I'm gonna disable the melee system and drag in the our brand new shooting system and attach the FPS camera and everything else should be fine so if we hit play Actually, hold on. I'm going to make this debug when we hit the enemy. So debug.log. We attacked enemy. And there we go. Let's see if that works. Open up the console down here. And come up to the enemy. Left click. And there we go. We attacked an enemy. And a, oh, we have a problem. And I know why that's happening, but we can fix that another time. That's something to do with the AI. Once we get more more advanced with our uh, AI, we can go into that. Okay, so I'm also going to do a an update right under the Raycast hit. I'm going to do debug.drawArray and ray.origin, uh, ray.direction times the weapon range and color.green. Okay, so now in the scene we should see the ray for our now for our gun, quote unquote, for our shooting system. Okay, so next episode we're gonna probably make some very simple gun model, um, and episode after that we might ma uh, or might rig it, animate it, do whatever, and then probably work on some AI. Uh, want to perfect the shooting system first so all right so thank you guys for watching uh hope you enjoyed the video and have a good one